hello welcome guys to my youtube channel today we are going to i'm going to teach you how to compress a heavy or oh, that's a large rather large tefal into a small equivalent that's the ecw file using the global mapper software many a times when we are done with our post processing of drone imagery or any large imagery it's imperative sometimes you have to transfer them from one device onto the other sometimes the tip files are quite huge so this tutorial is, go tutorial is going to teach you how to convert a tip file that's a relatively large file format into an ECW file that is its equivalent which has a smaller size but has the same image quality now let's get started so we launch our global mapper software we wait for it to load so that we can start with the conversion process so to import the tiff file we click on open data and then we navigate to the file directory to the tiff file so here you can see the tiff file here which is around 600, 661 megabytes but you're going to conform or transfer it into a small file size at the same quality we click on open to import the file now to convert it into its equivalent ECW format we click on the imported file we right click we go to layer we go to export and then we scroll to the extension file format in our case which is the ECW file we go to OK and then we check the extension project file if it's on already you can leave it on and the world file format so we continue and then we give it a name I will get to a file directory and then we give it a name when this is done you save to start the conversion process usually this takes a while based on the size of the file Now, when this is done, we go back to the file or folder directory and then we check the file size of what I was talking about previously. We realize the file which was over 7 megabytes has now been reduced to 35 megabytes, which is becomes easy to share or work on in the events you want to use a, a third party software. Now, to check the quality of the image, we drag the file and drop it onto the global mapper software. So, this is the TIFF file. And then we zoom in to see the quality of the image. We turn the TIFF file layer off, and then we turn the ECW layer off, which is the compressed file format. And then we zoom in likewise, and we can see. That even though it has been compressed to a smaller size, it is still of the same quality as the huge TIFF file. This is usually important when you have to transfer these files over the internet in terms of uh, the size. And then, if you have to work in third party software like AutoCAD, it becomes easier to work with. 
in terms of its pixelation okay thank you guys now i've come to the end of the video subscribe and like for more tutorials stay tuned for the next video see you in the next video bye bye